of my comments, the courage to remember, remembering courage. I thank the Museum of Tolerance for bringing this important exhibit to Fresno as we view this exhibit of the Holocaust and have the courage to remember. Let us also be inspired by remembering the courage of those who followed their consciences and acted justly, often at great peril to themselves. Many of us now know the story of Oscar Schindler, made famous by the Steven Spielberg film, Schindler's List. Schindler uh, was a member of the Nazi party and exploiter of Jewish slave labor. Schindler ended up saving more than 1,200 Jews with his ill-gotten profits. It is a wonderful story of transformation and redemption. The Museum of Tolerance also displayed the Visas for Life exhibit created by Eric Saul in 1995. Eric Saul told the story of Chuni Sugihara and his wife Yukiko. Mr. Sugihara was Consul General of Japan stationed in Lithuania at the time the Germans invaded Poland in 1939. A wave of Polish Jews fled east to Lithuania seeking travel visas to escape the Holocaust. Sugihara was refused, refused permission from, from his government to issue the travel visas three times. In, cons in consultation with Yukiko, Consul General Sugihara issued travel visas day and night for a month saving over 6,000 Jews. He later recalled, I may have disobeyed my government, but if I don't, I will be disobeying God. Yukiko stated, human life is very important. Being virtuous in life is also very important. My husband and I talked about the visas before he issued them. We understood that both the Japanese and German governments disagreed with our ideas, but we went ahead anyway. After the war, Sugihara and his family were imprisoned in a Soviet internment camp for a year and a half. When he finally returned to Japan, the Japanese government dismissed Sugihara from the diplomatic service. He lived in obscurity until 1985 when he was recognized as righteous among the nations by the Yad Yashern Martyrs and Heroes Remembrance Authority in Jerusalem. Eric Saul summarized the Sugihara story well. He stated, in the course of human existence, many people are tested. Only a few soar as eagles and achieve greatness by simple acts of kindness, thoughtfulness, and humanity. This is a story of a man and his wife who, when confronted with evil, obeyed the kindness of their hearts and conscience in defiance of the orders of an indifferent government. Lest we think America is immune from injustice, we should also have the courage to remember America's internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. Although benign in comparison to the Nazi death camps, over 120,000 Americans of Japanese ancestry, a majority American-born citizens, were forcibly removed from the West Coast and incarcerated by our government for three years. Their only crime was they looked like the enemy. Two temporary confinement sites at Pinedale and the Fresno Fairgrounds were located in Fresno County. There are memorials at both sites co-sponsored by the Japanese American Citizens League. The Fresno Assembly Center Memorial will be rededicated a week from Wednesday, immediately before the opening of the big Fresno Fair. The memorials, like the Museum of Tolerance in this exhibit, are places for remembrance, respect, and responsibility. We should remember the mistakes of the past so they are not repeated in the future. We should respect 
those who suffered discrimination and persecution, and those with the courage to take a stand for justice. We should be responsible for our own words and deeds as we strive to be just and compassionate human beings. Secretary Norman Y. Mineta said it well at the dedication of the Pinedale Assembly Center Memorial. You cannot appreciate where you are unless you understand and remember where you have been. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a pre presentation of a certificate of appreciation by Umberto Avila from Councilman, and I hope I'm pronouncing the name properly, Oliveris Office. Is Umberto Avila here? Ah, very good. Thank you. And I hope I didn't do an injustice to the name. It's okay. It's, uh, it happens a lot. So. Okay, good. Okay, this is a, just a certificate of recognition uh, from, oh, this is just a certificate of recognition from Council Member uh, Clint J. Olivier in recognition to the Foundation for California. Uh, it is his pleasure to recognize your outstanding educational exhibit on the history of the Holocaust. The pro programs you bring to the community and the state of California continue to raise awareness about the important issues facing our society. Congratulations on this 22nd day of September. 2011, Council Member Clint J. Olivier. Thank you. We have one more speaker, a very important speaker. Our other survivor is here, Ephraim Hodges. Ephraim, as you recall, is the name of one of the sons of uh, Joseph and created one of the tribes of Israel. I'm very happy he's here. As I said to you earlier, our special treasure are the survivors because they are living testimonies to what took place. They don't need documentation. Ephraim, please. Thank you. I'll be very brief. Other than the people that know me from Fresno, how many people heard that there was a Holocaust that occurred in Greece also? Could you raise your hands? Okay, very few. Salonika, or Thessaloniki, is the second largest city in Greece. Some of the residents there have been living there for over 2,000 years. My family is from Volos, Greece, which is halfway down the peninsula, and my family was in Greece for over 2,000 years. However, when the Holocaust, when the Germans called for the Jews to be round up, Thessaloniki, Salonika lost 97%. Only 3% survived. Our city, Volos, was fortunate because the priest and the rabbi were very close. They studied together, and when the call came to round up the Jews, the priest told the rabbi to go ahead and disperse. So therefore, we moved up into the mountains, so on the side by the sea, and hiding throughout the period, we were able to survive. Only 26% from my city perish. It was a population of about 2,000 Jews at the time, and after the war, there was maybe 400, at the present time is less than 100. Either they perish through health and malnutrition, or they move to Israel in order to avoid prejudice. In Greece today is rising tremendous amount of prejudice again, actually throughout Europe. So I promise I will only stand a few minutes. The only thing I could tell you is it didn't, the pain did not stop there. I did not realize because I was an infant, I was just a baby, I was between two and four years of age. I didn't realize the pain until I became a grandfather myself. The loss of my grandparents, I never knew. 
I never realized that love. And I realized the pain from not having it. With that, I will cut it short and end it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I'm from the tribe of the Triumph, too. We're going to have a ribbon cutting in just a moment. And my last job of the day will be to count to three, at which point the ribbon will be cut and the exhibit will be open. But I have a list of people who I would be remiss if I did not properly introduce their presence here. I hope they're here. If they're not here, uh, we hope they would be here. So I'm just going to run down the list and thank them very much. Ethan Kirk, field representative, Office of Congressman Jeff Dunham, uh, Denham, the 19th Congressional District. Oh, very good. Thank you for being here. Cole Rojewski, Field Representative, Office of Congressman Devin Nunez, 21st Congressional District. Very good. Thank you for being here. Uh, Joel Saldana, Field Representative, Office of Congressman Jim Costa, 20th Congressional District. Uh, Nina Sibley, uh, Field Representative, Nia Sibley, Field Representative, Office of Assemblyman Henry Perea, 31st Assembly District, and I know she's here. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Justin Steele, District Representative, Office of California State Senator Michael Rubio, 16th Senate District. Thank you very much. Um, uh, the Honorable Hillary Chittick, a judge of the Fresno Superior Court. I'll run right down this list. The Honorable, Honorable David Gottlieb, Judge of the Fresno Superior Court. Honorable W. Kent Hamlin, Judge of the Fresno County Superior Court. The Honorable David Kalamakarian, Judge of the Fresno County Superior Court. I think the court is closed today. Um, uh, um, uh, the Honorable Armando Rodriguez, Judge of the Fresno County Superior Court, former member of the Fresno County Board of Supervisors. The Honorable Michael Sang, U.S. Magistrate, Judge for Yosemite National Park. Dr. Stephen Varvis, Provost, who led off the program, and we're very grateful for his help in all respects of putting this program together. Patrick Farmer, Deputy Chief, Fresno Police Department. Patrick. And Casey Clark, Battalion Chief, Fresno Fire Department. I also want to uh, uh, recognize Sue Grabidian, Office of Supervisor Debbie Puchigian. Wonderful. Finally, just a short list of people to thank. Tamara Beard, Court Executive Officer, Superior Court of California, County of Fresno, who I suspect was responsible for getting together all the judges. Ms. Phyllis Farrow, Executive Director, Jewish Federation of Central California. Uh, Fresno State University President, perhaps the most important person we need to thank, uh, uh, President John uh, Welty, uh, whose institution threw their arms open to us, and we're very grateful. Ms. Rod Zarin and Aaron Kent, a Fresno State University Student Union. I met them earlier. Uh, 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 Shauna Blair, Fresno State University Student Involvement Center. Ms. Jamie Sanford, student intern, Fresno State University Student Involvement Center, who worked very hard on this exhibit. Thank you, Jamie. Dr. Roxana, Professor of Women's Studies from Fresno State University. Rabbi Wick, Rick Winner, Temple Beth Israel. Reverend Vicki Armour Healy, Pastor, Wesley United Methodist Church. And finally, Father James A. Rood, Society of Jesus, Director, Diocesan Ministry for Social Justice. And he has asked us to bring to the exhibit when we finish our first two venues here to his uh, diocese for viewing. If I've left anyone out, I deeply apologize. Thank you all for being here. Now we're going to count to three and open the exhibit. So. Do we have our scissors? Yes. One, two, 